morning all. Now this is the uh, battery from an electric bicycle and I was just having a look inside and uh, it's a 24 volt battery pack and it's just got two of these sealed lead acid uh, 12 volt batteries and if we have a look at the uh, specs they are 12 volt 12 amp hours each so I guess that's uh, 24 volt 12 amp hours in total now in the uh, wiring there's a switch here and a relay and this is a 24 volt relay 40 amps and there's also a fuse in this fuse holder and I just took it out and that's a 40 amp fuse although the fuse holder doesn't look to me like it's uh, really up to 40 amps of um, current but anyway that seems to be okay these batteries the terminals have been actually soldered on so if you wanted to replace these batteries and they do need replacing you'd have to battle with these to uh, to get them off now the problem with this battery is that um, although when it was new the performance of the bike was quite good these batteries have degraded now probably because um, they weren't charged properly they were just left to stand uh, and the voltage dropped and then they degraded so now the problem is that the uh, battery is not very powerful and it doesn't have the distance or the running time that it used to have so I could just replace these two lead acid batteries but that seems a bit daft I mean I'm thinking why not fill this thing with lithium cells so in terms of size lithium cells would certainly fit I'd have to get hold of a large quantity of these lithium cells preferably tabbed um, unless I can develop my own spot welding techniques but I don't really fancy that so a load of tabbed cells and then I'd bundle them together in parallel groups and then put well I've calculated that seven cells would do the job so let's just quickly go through that on the calculator um, now this 24 volt battery when it's fully charged will probably be more like 25 or even 26 and lithium at 3.7 times 7 of those gives me 25.9 so in terms of voltage it's going to be uh, a pretty good match the lithium cells should behave like a very well charged lead acid uh, and of course their voltage drop off would probably be uh, better than lead acid they just um, be better performance all over and of course it should be lighter now 18650s of course have the metal can so they will get quite heavy if I pack this box uh, full of these things but I think that would make a very interesting project now I'm going to need a lot of 18650s to do that um, haven't calculated the number yet but uh, I can imagine it being something like like eight seven so what's that 56 cells um, so I need access to lots of 18650s so what I did this morning was I went to a couple of local computer repair shops and I said uh, what's your current method for disposing of laptop batteries and they said well, one of them said a chap comes and collects them no charge the other one said uh, a bloke comes around and actually charges them money to take all the IT stuff away so I said well I'll do it for free and he seemed quite receptive to that so here's the bicycle it is a meerkat trails and um, actually I quite like this exposed motor I mean it's very obvious just sort of bolted on the back there and it has its own, the bike's in a bit of a, a bad way, has its own chain drive down to the rear wheel on the opposite side to the, um, the chain drive for the pedals. So let's put the battery in and just see if it's got any juice in it. Now of course one of the problems with this whole bicycle is that the battery weighs an absolute ton and uh, I can't get it in there because I've got to pull that pin out so 
I'm going to have to do this not holding the camera. This pin here needs to be pulled out to get the battery in. So that slid in there, okay. Now there's a connector here that you uh, have to plug in, obviously for power. That looks a little bit like an IEC 3 pin, but one of the pins, the sort of earth pin if you like, is pointing the other way. If anyone knows what this is, because I had a look for it um, a while back and couldn't uh, see any references to it. Also the pins are quite big, quite heavy duty, presumably for the higher current. Anyway, let's uh, plug that in. Okay, then you need to switch it on to engage the relay. Probably hear the relay click. There's the relay clicking. Anyway, that's on. And then you twist the throttle here. Uh, oh, there's a light on there. I think that's saying moderate amount of charge. Twist the throttle and oh, have to lift the back wheel off the ground a bit. And the motor turns. So there's obviously some power in this battery. Now the speed controller is behind that panel. So I'm just going to take that off and have a look. It did occur to me that I could pack this thing with eight cells rather than seven. Because uh, you can get chargers for eight cells. And I'm going to have to use, for charging this thing, uh, the sort of balanced charger that radio control people use. And I thought eight cells would give it some real welly. But um, I'm just not sure whether the speed controller would be able to handle the additional voltage and current power, I suppose. So there are various wires in here. This is interesting. You've got two very fat cables going into one side of this plug and then quite thin cables uh, going off to the motor. It's a 250 watt motor by all accounts. There's a couple of wires here coming in from the throttle control. I think this one with all the multiple plugs here, there are two plugs there, is from the throttle control itself. I've got a feeling this double wire here is probably from the brake switch because if you pull the brake it uh, stops the motor running. You don't really want power and brake at the same time. And then these fat cables up here are coming from the plug that comes, uh, that three pin plug that comes out of the battery. So there's the speed control, it's actually hidden behind that tin can. Actually, I wonder if that would come apart. Might try and get that apart. Well, that's just come out now. So that is a Curry Technologies um, motor speed controller. DC brushless motor controller. Input voltage 24, control voltage 1 to 4. Output current 25 amps. Uh, date 2008. Interesting. Let's see if the lid will come off. Well, there's the motor speed controller. Uh, you can see that there are a couple of MOSFETs here. I don't know, these might be diodes. I can't see how many legs they've got on them. Uh, there's also apparently a relay of some sort in there. But all this masticked uh, cable sealant is all coming adrift now. So I think I'll put that back together before it all breaks apart too much little 14 pin or 16 pin IC down there and some surface mount uh, D-packs or TO252s or whatever they are. Interesting. So I better make sure it still works uh, after I've fiddled with the speed controller. Yeah, that seems to be alright. So, there's another project. Replace the failing lead acid batteries in this bicycle power pack with lithium and uh, find some way of charging those lithium batteries as I say I think it'll be some sort of um, balance charger to uh, bring this old electric bike back into service <laughs>